my art loving friends. I am Deborah Kay and I welcome you to Paint with a Passion. Today I'd like to share where I make the magic happen and how I store all of my supplies. This is my creative center. I got this awesome craft sewing table for less than a hundred bucks three years ago and it sits on the caster wheels that have locks and actually it's unbelievably sturdy. I like to be near my family when I'm painting so I can set this up anywhere in the house and then I can even fold it into a small credenza if I need to put it away which is almost never. But my dream is to travel like a gypsy someday soon and if I get a chance to do that this little rig it's gonna work great in an RV. So where do I keep all my stuff? If you're anything like me and you're going to Hobby Lobby then you're definitely going to need somewhere to store everything. And wouldn't it be awesome if it was easy to relocate your stash? Um, should you decide to reorganize or to move or to travel like a gypsy in the wind? I know, I know. Dream on, right? But hey, I'm all about maximizing the storage space I have. How about you? So you might know I have two adorable kitties. And with kitties comes litter boxes. And with litter boxes comes the need for kitty litter. So the brand of litter that I buy, it comes in these really sturdy square plastic buckets uh, with reusable lids. And I just couldn't throw them away because I knew someday I was gonna find a use for them. And that day is today. These square buckets stack together and create the perfect cubby storage. Plus, you know what? You've already paid for them, so you're not buying something new. And as long as you have a back wall and a side wall, you're good to go. The handles uh, on the bottom row where I line up the buckets, they work like a kickstand and they prevent the buckets from sliding forward. And I put my heaviest items along the bottom, like rocks and gypsum powder, um, and that helps to also keep everything from shifting. Now, the top of the bucket is wider than the bottom of the bucket, so they tilt backwards a bit and then the grooves just sort of lock into each other um, on top of each other and it stops everything from shifting and sliding. Now, you could buy a storage unit or build your own, but can you pack up that storage unit and carry it away in five seconds? Probably not. Uh, using bins to store things is great too, except when you have to unstack all the bins and then go through them to find what you need. But with these, you can store these things in the buckets like cubbies and then just put a lid on these babies and you're on the move. You're painting on the go. You're like a gypsy in the wind. <laughs> I don't know if it's just the area where I live, but it seems that the houses these days, they're built with very limited storage space. You get one closet in each bedroom, you get cupboards in your kitchen, a cabinet under your bathroom sink, and if you're really lucky, you might even get a coat closet or a tiny linen closet. We happen to have two closets in one bedroom. What a score! And the closet I'm transforming today, it's very small. And I only get to use one side of it because the other side is for my hubby. And I won't be sharing that on camera because, well, you know, it's private, man cave code kind of thing. Anyways, if you don't have kitties, I bet you know somebody that does. So bake them some cookies and ask them to trade with you. Make sure you keep all the lids for stacking or moving and um, also keep one bucket for your painting trash can. I find it super handy. Thank you so much for joining me today on Paint with a Passion. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you with my new tutorials real soon. Let me know what you think and also let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification button. I wish you peace, love, and happiness now and always.